Hi everyone, it's Luna. Um, my voice is still fucked, still sounds like I swallowed a cactus, and hopefully it doesn't bother you guys too much, but might sound like a 12 year old because I'm probably about to voice crack a shit ton, but anyway, I've been getting a shit ton of tweets saying to do stories about fights and talk about, you know, the best fights that I've seen and shit like that. And I don't really like to do fight stories. I mean, I'm not going to fucking lie. Seeing a fight, definitely, um, I, I can't help but watch. Like, if it's happening, I'm probably going to watch. Um, I've tried to break them up. doesn't work. I'm definitely not the type of person to be breaking up a fight. But if I see one, I'm probably going to most likely look because you really can't look. There's a huge crowd surrounding them. You want to see what's going on. But I'm going to tell you guys a little story from back in seventh grade, um, right before I left middle school. And in terms of fights, uh, this is definitely ranked number one for every single one I've seen. Like, this is definitely the craziest. Um, not in terms of, like, getting hurt or anything. Like, I've seen some people get really fucked up in the span of, like, 10 seconds. But... This fight was just really, really long. It was like 15 minutes long, and that's why I think it's the best that I've seen. Plus, in the end, they didn't have any injuries, which is dope. I mean, obviously, they were probably fucking sore and had some bruises, but they weren't, like, fucking bleeding all over the place. They didn't have any serious injuries, you know what I mean? But anyway, I guess we're just gonna start with how it all started. Um, the first kid that kind of, like, got challenged, he's a fucking gangster. That's the only thing I can say. He's, like, just a straight fucking in middle school anyway he was he just acted so hard he was like the only motherfucker that had the balls to say anything at any time no matter who it was i remember one time he got like basically extracted from our classroom because he was causing a scene and he literally got up and he went over to the front of the room and the principal and the security were there obviously and they went to grab him when he got up and the principal grabbed his arm and he literally just looked at the principal and was just like if you don't let go of my arm in five seconds dude i'm gonna punch you square in your face and the principal literally backed off and i was like jeez this motherfucker is scary and I never talked to him like I was really scared to because he was like that kind of kid that just you approach him being really nice and he just fucking bitch slaps you for it but anyway the other guy he was you know kind of a quiet to himself kind of kid um he was fucking really buff like for a seventh grader that kid had some muscle on him and that's why I um kind of understood why he challenged him but this fucking buff kid uh, that's what we're gonna call him. We're gonna call him Mr. Strong. Alright, so Mr. Strong approaches Mr. Gangster, okay? And Mr. Gangster was talking some huge shit on this kid. He was calling him, you know, a fucking douchebag, a fucking faggot, you know, all the classic insults, right? And, you know, Mr. Strong got kind of pissed and challenged him to slap box. He was like, you know what, dude? Let's go in the bathroom after lunch. Let's slap box. And of course, the gangster was all like, yeah, dude, I'm gonna fuck you up. Like, this kid's easy, he's done. And I was like, alright, I'm, I gotta see this. Like, I'm just, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna watch. You know what I mean? Um, if it gets too bad, they said they were gonna break it up. I didn't really believe it, but that's what we did. So we went to the bathroom after lunch, okay? We get into the bathroom. And both of them immediately take off their shirts because, you know, gotta show off the wife beater. And they fucking, they immediately just got right into it. You know, they got into position, they were all in stance and shit. The kid in the middle was just like, alright, go. And they fucking start slapping the shit out of each other, all right? And it actually gets really bad. Got to the point where they kind of, you know, close fist, kind of fighting. And it got broken up really quick because of that. And they were like, you know what? No, we're going to actually fight. Like, this is fucking bullshit. They got, you know, they were in each other's faces. So they bring him into the locker room. We go from the bathroom to the locker room where Jim is. Because you don't want to have a fucking huge fight in a tiny little bathroom, right? They go into the locker room and start beating the shit out of each other. And like I said, I usually don't see fights often, and when I do, they're pretty fucking brutal. And with some of the fucking punches that these kids were throwing, I'm surprised that some of them weren't bleeding. Like, they were hard-ass punches. And yeah, they were just, like, picking each other up and fucking body-slamming each other onto the floor and shit like that. And keep in mind, while this is all going on, everyone is screaming. Like, screaming, screaming. Like, when I got verified screaming, you know what I mean? So I'm fucking sitting there, losing my voice, because I'm kind of yelling too. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Um, I could have been the good, the hero of the situation, the upper man, and told, and got someone to, you know, break it up. But... If I was to be known as the snitch, let's just say I would have been the one getting my ass handed to me instead of those kids. So they're fighting, all right, I'm kind of yelling too, and all the noise had to attract someone, you know what I mean? Like the locker rooms right next to classrooms, like you could hear the yelling. So a supervisor came into the locker room while the fight was going on, and they literally continued to fight for like five minutes while she was trying to break it up. I felt kind of bad, but then another supervisor came in, this one was kind of a gym teacher back in his day, so he was, you know, a little bit on the more muscle side of things. So he grabbed his hands, like physically put his hands in between these two while they're fighting, and he's taking punches from them because they're still fighting, and just splits them. Like straight uses all his force to split them up, 
and then he put one in a chokehold, the other girl's holding the other one by his arms, and if I had to give you guys, like, a final verdict of who fucking lost, it was definitely the fucking Mr. Gangster dude, hence the name, I, okay, I named the dude Mr. Strong because he was kicking ass, alright, that dude was fucking beast, but yeah, Mr. Strong kind of beat the shit out of him, um, like I said, he didn't really get hurt, like, there wasn't actually any physical, like, damage to them, they had some bruises, but that was the worst thing that happened, but yeah, they broke him up, and it was definitely one of the craziest fights I ever witnessed, and I've seen, like, high school fights, like, fucking seniors kick the shit out of each other in the span of, like, two minutes, and you're probably like, well, why isn't that the craziest? Well, I don't know, I guess, just because the cocky motherfucker. Oh my god, my voice. Is this gonna happen every fucking video, dude? But anyway, this cocky kid, you know, got into a fight and finally lost, and it kind of, like, struck down his ego. So, that, you know, Mr. Gangster, not anymore. He was no longer Mr. Gangster. Now he was just kind of Carlton. Yep, that's what we're gonna name him now. Now he's Carlton, okay? He was gangster, he was a fucking beast, then he got beat up, and then he wasn't cocky anymore. And he was Carlton, all right? So, in the end, it was kind of a good thing. He actually was a lot cooler afterwards towards me and, like, towards everyone because I guess he just wasn't as cocky. He finally lost a battle, you know what I mean? But, yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any fight stories, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'd like to read them. And if you did enjoy, leave a like, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Peace.